Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a trail damage video because there is a lot of stuff that we did. Um, unfortunately, the one wheel that I think we did scratch a little bit um, is kind of uh, covered in mud right now. Um, but we'll show you the... Um, exhaust and the other side now the exhaust we will have to fix because um it once you feel and hear that noise you can't unfeel and hear the noise of the exhaust just rattling around underneath there so <clears throat> something that happens with these jeeps i'll talk about it later but something that happens is when you get your exhaust pushed inwards like towards the front of the jeep Right where it goes up and over the axle, it bends it there, so then it pulls the exhaust back, and you can't get it on that last hanger. So we've got to fix that. Um, we'll fix it in today's video. Um, but, yeah, it, this trip was a very interesting trip that... Um, that we did we were glad to get back out in the jeep but we were alone and we did not know that we were going to be doing that trail um so yeah but um this is the wheel that we scratched oh yeah you can see it right there yeah we scratched it bad there Ooh, and there too oh, right there so yeah we scratched our wheel a little bit um not, not bad. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. But um, moving back to that, let's talk about that. So we did wind chill again, and if you guys remember from the last time we did wind chill, we cr we like crumpled this, um, and it was not this bad the last time. This dent wasn't here, um, but yeah, it's gotten significantly worse since this last trail um i i i mean it's just insane <clears throat> what we did to this jeep the other day um we did kind of scrape the skid plates a little bit but they're skid plates that's what happens um they get scratched and scraped and it happens from time to time um but yeah, rear wheels, not that bad. Um, <clears throat> other than this tire over here, this tire um, got really rounded off on the edges. Um, you can kind of see it there, see it there, and um, yeah, so we rounded off the tires a little bit. Um, that. That is not good. So when we were in that mud hole, that last mud hole where my dad got caked in mud, um, there was a log right here, and it went right here, just smashed this in, and crumpled it in, and it popped. It popped it off its hanger, so the entire way off the trail, this thing was just rattling around. And once you hear it, you can't unhear it, and when you hear it, or when you feel it, you can't unfeel it. So, yeah, maybe we'll fix this in this video. Um, but this is, this is bad. This is, we're going to have to fix it. Um, we can't, we can't just leave that like that because we want to drive this thing around and bouncing down the road. Like, you can see the exhaust is rattling around all over inside there. Um, and it was hitting the shock. You can see it's hitting the shock right there. And it was bouncing off the shock back and forth. Oh! Oh! I did not see that. Whoa. Right there on that shock. Oh my god. We dented the shock. <laughs> okay, so apparently we dented the shock as well. Probably on that same log that did that. 
Okay. That's... That's funny. Well, now I gotta tell my dad. <laughs> These are brand new shocks, too. These are brand new shocks that we bought. And, well, okay, I mean, we bought them about a month or two ago. So, well, well no. I guess maybe... October, maybe? That's maybe when we did this. <sighs> but we, like, just put those on. Those are... Those are brand new shocks, so... <sighs> this is what happens when you off-road your Jeep. Um, but, yeah, so we took the carpet out of the TJ because when it sprayed the mud in... Um, I mean, there was water inside here over some of those water crossings, but the carpet... Um, we, we have a leak in the hardtop currently. Oh, you can see it right there. Um, but we've currently got a leak in the top. Um, and so the carpet gets all wet, and then it bakes it in the sun, and then it just smells like mold. Um, so it comes in from underneath the dash, it comes in from back behind the top. We didn't take this carpet out because... We just didn't feel like it. Um, but yeah. Um, our trash can is overfilled with um, Toyota parts. So, yeah. But we're gonna... I'm gonna stop the video now. Um, and... Uh, Jeez, okay, so someone just drove by on their lawnmower. So, like I was saying before that guy drove by on his lawnmower, um, I think I'm going to end it off here. Well, no, I'm not going to end it off here, but um, the next clip that y'all guys will be seeing is us working on this, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, it it's just interesting um, what we did to it, but it sprayed the mud in there, and... So, we had, my dad just hosed down the inside, so, because this Jeep has, like, no electronics, um, that can really get hurt by getting wet, other than maybe the radio, but that, that's honestly the only thing that would really have an issue with getting wet, um, because these Jeeps are built without the top, I mean, what, what, why put, non-waterproof stuff in it when they're meant to have the top off of it. I mean, come on. So, yeah, the next clip that y'all guys will see is us fixing the exhaust. And, um, yeah. Alrighty, guys, so, um, unfortunately, um, we didn't really fix the exhaust. Um, we just hooked a chain around it, pulled it forward a little bit, so... What I did was I just kind of put it back on its uh, hanger there, um, and then, and it was like way up here and over here, so then what we did was we just hooked a chain to it um, from the front of the uh, Suburban over there, um, and we just pulled on it and pulled this back. We didn't fix this because we didn't feel like it, um, but yeah, that should help stop the rattle and stuff. Um, I don't think I really showed it before, but we didn't really do a whole lot more damage to it, but we did get a pretty big scratch all the way along here, um, <clears throat> from that rock. Um, so, yeah. 
we were thinking about taking off the fenders um, I mean these fenders don't really help keep a whole lot of mud off of you um, as my dad found out in the last video um, but yeah it, it's just we're debating on if we're gonna take these off or not um, because if we do there's gonna be like four bolt holes in the body um, and it's all gonna be dirty and scratched up back behind there so we might make a panel to go along there that would kind of look like a fender but it also kind of be just a um, just there for looks I guess and to cover up those um, bolt holes um, we still need to fix the power steering pump um, we do have an axle seal that we need to fit or that we need to fix um, that rear axle seal um, is a little messed up but yeah I'm not really feeling the best um, right now but yeah so the TJ um, will be out on the trail soon very very soon um, so yeah but it's that time of year it's that time of year to take off the top and take off the door and we will hopefully be doing that soon um, we just got to do some cleaning before we can um, get the top where we can hang it up um, but other than that the DJ is great I mean I, it just seems to prove us wrong every time uh, when we take it out on the trails um, because it seems to just do whatever we push it to do and then it drives home after that and it never really breaks um, but yeah we've got a few more months left um, before we um, before I hit my deadline um, I'm trying to get it to a thousand subscribers by the end of uh, not by the end of this year, but by August, um, of this year, um, because then if I can get monetized, uh, or then if I could get a thousand subscribers, I can do a whole lot more, um, for y'all guys, I can do better videos, more high quality videos, um, we could do more trails, we could maybe upgrade the TJ or even get the ZJ running. Um, so if you're new here, please subscribe. Um, and if you've been here since the beginning, make sure you guys um, like and uh, share. Um, and uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.